Hello and welcome back to the Darkest Reformia Estate. Oh yes. And we have a bunch of names. Oh yes, we have Bob Vance right here. Or Bob Vance, as you may want to say it. We also have Elil right here. And of course we have Sleeth. And they are members of Reformia. If you too would like to have your name suggestion in our Darkest Dungeon party, then just click on the join button down below. Otherwise, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. I think I've upgraded already. Yeah, I think I've upgraded already. So there's not really any need for me to do anything else. So let us uh, let's just embark. Let's just embark and see what's what's going on here. Oh yes, I have also enabled the DLC by the way. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of new stuff that is going to kill me. Anyway, a strange glow at the farmstead. The comet's impact was felt here in the hamlet. The great impact toppled gravestones and kicked up a cloud of dust that covered the entire region. When it finally settled, an eerie miasma was seen to spread from the mill. It distorted the rules of time and space far beyond imagining. Venture to the miller's farm to see what has been done. All right, well, I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, I'd like to go into the ruins, perhaps. Because I'd like to get, um, uh, what, do, what do I actually need to get? Let me, let me actually just go back real quick. I need to get something to upgrade the stagecoach a bit more. So I need what? Pages. Pages? I, I don't exactly know. I guess I need pages. Anyway, this is going to be fun. Let's have a look. Okay, doesn't seem like anything to me. Uh, guess we'll just... Agility, talent, bounty hunter only. I have no idea what any of this means, but I guess we'll just try it out. So we are going to be taking Elil in here. Wait a minute. Elil is going to want to attack those and this. Okay, so we should probably move our Vestal back a little bit. Uh, apparently you can... I'm actually unsure how to swap out skills as well because someone told me that you can you can actually swap out skills, and I I I am I'm clicking on them, but it doesn't seem to make any difference to that. I think uh, we already have a heal, so I'm not entirely sure. But well, maybe we'll figure that out a little bit later on down the line. So I'm actually going to remove our vestal for the moment, and we'll take Bob Vance in here as well. I'm going to say it the English way because that's just... I, I'm just going to say it that way. And this guy's an Arbalest, which is absolutely insane because he's going to be able to do massive damage to basically anyone in the back line, and that's exactly what we want to have. So uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes, and we'll go in with our main dudes as well, our main, main guys that we had beforehand. We'll take two shovels. We'll take 12 food. This is going to be a short expedition. We'll take... Uh, 12 torches, and I think that's basically it. I think we don't really need to take anything else. This is just a short yeah, expedition, so we'll try it out and see what happens. I gotta say that I kind of want to do pretty well here, but I have the feeling because I, I know the reputation about this game, you see. I know the reputation it has. It's very, <laughs> very punishing, and we're going to see how we go. Now, someone did actually tell me that you can get more money... And you can do more critical hits if you have a lower light level. But because I'm a beginner, I don't know whether I should really try to do that. Because getting surprised and things, taking damage from monsters is maybe not the best idea. I'm actually going to move to this room right now because it's a bit of a dead end. And we might be able to see exactly what's happening here. Okay, so we can use a shovel to get by this rubble. That's good for me. And we can also... Ah, oh dear. Kleptomania. Oh, that's actually... Oh, that's a lot of good stuff right there that he's taking. Ah, you you bastard. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? I have no idea. Oh, well. Anyway, let's continue onward. I guess that basically didn't give me anything. And it just reduced my light level, which is not really a big deal. So we'll just walk all the way back. Gotta say, I'm really interested to see how the Jester and how the Arbalest actually act in battle. I think it could be really fun. So we'll see how it goes. Otherwise, let's continue. Yes. Yes. Don't don't tell me. I know, I know. I pressed W. I know. I pressed W way too much, in my opinion. Okay, so the Fusilier. People have told me in the comments. By the way, thank you very much for all of your very supportive comments and helpful comments. Kill the guy in the back line first. That's basically what I have to do. 
So, yeah, unfortunately I can't do that with my main ability, so I'm gonna, I can't even do that with my ranged ability. Uh, I could do it with pistol shot. Yep. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. Okay. And now, Elil, I don't know whether we can reach. No, it seems like we can't actually reach the end opponent, which is unfortunate, so I guess I will just go for a bleed. Because the bleed, according to a couple of you, also stacks. And that's going to be super, super powerful. So, yeah, we'll hopefully be able to do that. Oh, the Jester seems really powerful to me right now because being able to stack bleeds, especially on big targets, that's going to be really useful for us. All right, so now we have Blind Fire, which we can use. We also have Battlefield Bandages. So the Arbalest is kind of like a, a hybrid healer ranged character by the looks of things. Oh, Sniper Shot. That is going to do so much damage. Oh, yeah, there we go. Take him down. All right. If you wish, you can use a bandage from the inventory to stop the flow of bleeding. Yeah, I'm actually not going to do that because it's just one damage. I don't think that that's particularly worth it. This guy's a massive dude as well. It's going to be really hard for me to get by. I could technically stun him. Stun is also a thing that people have said is really, really good. And I thought it might be good, but the thing is, is that I've heard that it does have diminishing returns. And that might be a bit of an issue. But we're going to use stunning blow anyway and just try and get this guy out of the fight a little bit. Oh, nice. Okay, boom. That's a, Oh, that's not a kill, but he's going to be dead in a second. Yeah, there you go. Nice. All right, so let's just do some more damage here. A little bit more damage. And I could technically try a stun again, but I'm actually not going to do that. I could do Zealous Accusation. Uh, maybe? I, I'm actually... No, that's ranged. No, I don't really want to use a ranged attack right now because Smite usually does much more damage, at least from what I can tell. Oh, a miss. I can't believe we missed. Hmm. Can't believe we missed that, but it's okay. Because now we've killed it. Yes. Very nice. Do I actually have to kill anything else? No, I don't. Okay, thankfully we were able to loot this. And I'm actually going to swap these guys around now. Because we don't want the Jester in the front. And otherwise, let's loot this. Is he still going to continue bleeding? <laughs> I hope he stops bleeding now. Okay, so we have this. Are we surprised? Mm, no. We're not surprised, thankfully. Okay, so Rallying Flare, what else does this do? It clears stun, and it can also bypass stealth, which is really, really good. Okay, what else can we do here? Probably go for Sniper Shot into the back. Four damage? Only four damage? Are you serious right now? Come on. Oh, an 11 critical. An 11 critical. Are you serious right now? That's crazy. Okay, well, let's just do this. I hope that's going to... Ah, yeah, undead, undead. They resist, of course. They resist bleed, so that's not too good. I was hopeful that I would be able to eliminate the Arbalist. Ah, that's really, really not good. Maybe I can do... Uh, I could stun the Bone Defender, or I could stun the Bone Rabble. The Rabble is not really that good, so I guess I'll just stun the Bone Defender for the moment. Ooh, never mind. He resisted it. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. Now, bear in mind that if anyone dies that I have named, uh, that's actually not going to make any difference because I'm just going to then rename someone else as the same name. So, you know, if someone has suggested a name, then that name's always going to be in the series no matter whether the character dies or not. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try to go for the bleed. I think that... Ah, oh, I actually can't do that. That's a little bit too far away. So I guess I will use this instead. Oh yeah, also, it's undead, so we can't bleed these things. I should remember that, shouldn't I? Anyway, let's just stun it. Try to... Yeah, there we go. We got the nice stun. That's very helpful. And then we'll just go for regular attack, I guess. Take it out. Nice, we got some gold citrine. Okay, that's nice for a little bit of selling. And we'll just take our guy over there once again. Okay, so hunger. Let's try and heal ourselves <laughs> a little bit. Yes, just a little. All right, is there anything else I can do here now? Okay, so this is going to be very punishing indeed. I feel like our jester is going to maybe die relatively soon, which is not too good. Uh, there's also a trap coming up. Which is not very fun. But we'll, we'll hopefully be able to see it. Can I not see it? 
Ah, there's the trap. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to select the Jester to hopefully disarm this. Yeah, there you go. All right, good. That's also healed a little bit of the stress. So that's that's quite nice because apparently, according to most of you, stress is really, really bad. And, well, I could kind of tell that, but apparently it's even worse than health damage. So definitely going to have to be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, that was a very easy room, wasn't it? Okay, let's continue. Okay, we should go. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five potential rooms remaining. Uh, yes. Bookshelf? Okay, I guess we'll just look through. The passages are unsettling. Gave me stress. Lovely. Thank you so much. That's very useful for me. And there's a trap. Are you serious? I didn't see the trap? Oh, well. I guess we didn't see the trap. Okay, more hunger. I, 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 you know, I really need to get into a fight just so that I can heal the Jester. I don't think I can actually heal out of combat unless I use camping gear, as far as I'm aware. So, there's also that. Okay, let's see about scouting. Okay, so there is, there is going to be a battle, which is going to be problematic. There is an obstacle over there and some curios as well. Someone told me about curios. I'm going to need to learn a little bit more about them as we go. Oh, there we go. We've got another bust right there. Okay, now there's going to be a fight. There's going to be... Okay, so we've got Acolyte. So we've got to kill the Acolyte really, really quickly. So let's try and bleed them, because they are human now. Oh, I really want the Jester to stay alive, to be honest. Yes, thankfully he attacked the Crusader. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to continue trying to do... Ooh, dodged. Okay, yeah, they got some high dodge. Alright, so now we can finally heal. This is not going to do anything, really. But it's going to be something a little bit, at, at the very least, that might help out. I need a bandage. No, you don't. You don't need a bandage. Are you serious? Come on now. Okay, so we're just going to do stun, and I guess we'll stun on one of these guys. Doesn't really matter which, I suppose, as long as one of them stops attacking us. And then again, we'll do another bleed. Oh yeah, nice. Just bleed. Oh, that one resisted. Unfortunate. But maybe we'll be able to get a kill? Yes, okay. So the Acolyte is now dead, thankfully, and the Brawler is about to be dead, because we got another, another stack of bleed on the guy. So he should die in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to heal again. Because even though it's a very small amount of healing, it is enough to kind of get you, uh, or get the guy a little bit above, you know, the uh, death incoming threshold sort of thing, you know. So hopefully this guy's going to die from the bleed now, or at the very least, he's going to die from Dismas, I guess. All right, there you go. And we got an anti-venom and all kinds of other wonderful stuff. All right, so we can move on. Fantastic. Okay, I was actually partially thinking that I was going to die there. But thankfully not. Thankfully not. So far, so good. So far, so good. We'll see how it goes further down the line. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, we've got an obstacle, curio. Nothing that's going to kill us, at least. At least I hope not. What is this? A small holy altar seems out of place against the backdrop of corruption. You can give any item to it. Can I give any of these or... Can I... No, can't give those. Okay, so you can only give... Well, anti-venom, bandages, medicinal herbs, holy water. What about holy water? You have curried favor from the gods. I should have probably done that with the Jester or the Crusader because we got we got a uh, plus thirty percent damage buff. Oh well, that's pretty good. Okay, happy with that. Use the shovel. Off to work we go. And to the next room. Okay, there we go. We're almost there. We're actually almost there. I'm pretty surprised. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, nice. Got some crests. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, so we might be surprised here, which would be pretty bad. Nope, seems like we're not. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we are going to once again do the same thing. Is this an undead? Oh, it's an unholy. Ah, uh, yeah, that is kind of bad. But we're just going to try to bleed the, uh, the backline guy as much as possible. The brawler, not the other guy, because the unholy guy can't be bled as far as I'm aware. So let's just continue to do damage to him. Oh, nice. We took him down almost immediately. That is really, really powerful. And now we can go to town with our jester. Elil can go absolutely crazy with the with the bleeding. With the bleeding. It's going to be so, so fun. And it seems like Bob is literally just doing healing at the moment, which I suppose is a very important skill to have, but it is... Not exactly what he wants to do, I think. I think he probably wants to do some damage. But yeah, oh well. Okay, let's do some more damage to this guy. Whoa, 17 damage critical. Wow. Now that's pretty crazy. Alright, well, uh, I think I can probably just do this. And maybe we can do some more damage. Yep, there we go. Nice. Alright, fantastic. So now that means we get a charm there. We got a citrine and another deed. Okay, that's pretty good. And we will now swap these guys around. Seems like our main ability for the Jester seems to move, move them forward. As you can see, it moves them forward one. Okay, that's interesting. I'm learning. I'm learning, you know. It's a complicated game from my, uh, from my perspective. All right, so, ah, okay, so books. So technically what I could do here is I could put something in and then it's going to give me something. But I don't know, I don't think I have the necessary thing. Stack of literary treasures in an unlikely location. Personally, I don't feel like I have the thing that I need. So, maybe a torch? I only have two torches remaining. This is not good. I guess a bandage. That item had no effect. Yeah, I thought it wouldn't. Ah, okay, so you gain stress no matter what if you don't have the right item, is that correct? I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, the quest is now complete. Let's return to the hamlet. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. We managed to survive, which is the main thing, really. And let's have a look and see whether we are going to have some problems here. Okay, so this is good. This is good, and... Oh, that's very nice. Plus 10% death blow resist. That sounds that sounds good to me. And unfortunately, Reinald now has a plus... Well, a minus 5% damage to melee skills, which is not very good. But it's not a, not a big deal. Not the worst thing he could get. A sandstorm of rumors and half-truths swirl around the newcomer. All right. Okay, so, yeah, Sleeth is now fine. And he's also no longer abusive, so that's fantastic. Or at least he's doing a little bit better, as you can see. Probably needs to stay in there a little bit longer. Alright, so let's have a look at the uh, people that we can have here. Alright, so we have another Crusader, an Antiquarian. No idea what that does. And also a Man-at-Arms. I guess we will take all of them. There we go. We have so many spaces. So many spaces. So many heroes. Okay, so I need more pages. I still need more pages. And we can also put some people into the tavern here if we want to. Maybe Elil needs to go into the tavern. Might be an idea. Drink and dance a merry jig. Yes, exactly. And Reinald also needs to do something. But as you can see, he will only pray for stress relief. He will only pray. And I think Sleeth is already in there. Isn't he? No, no, he's not. Okay, ah, pray. Oh, great. The caretaker is currently enjoying this activity, so I am unable to do that. Maybe he can do this? No, I can't do that. Okay, so that's that's a bit problematic. I think we're going to... Should we take Sleeth? I think we'll take Sleeth on the next... Actually, you know what? I don't think we can because there's just too much stress. We'll put those two in there to try and reduce their stress. And we're not going to take Reinald on the next expedition because it's just going to be way too harsh for his stress level at the moment so we're just going to take him out and we will probably leave dismus dismus is doing okay our uh, and bob is doing okay as well 
So we'll take the new Crusader. Does he have a really bad quirk? He's got claustrophobia. And he's also a risk taker. Oh, oh okay. That's going to be funny. We'll see how that goes. And what else do we have here? Are these guys... Ah, okay, so this guy's a real front... Frontline melee guy. So that's good to know. And this... Wow. Wow. They can basically do things from everywhere by the looks of things. That's pretty cool. So I guess we'll just put them there. All right. So now let's... Uh, let's go... All right. So we did this. Didn't we? Well, we, we kind of did that. That's cleanse. That's a cleanse mission now instead of an explore mission. So let's just go to the next explore mission, I suppose. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea. What, the, what What is that? That's probably the endless dungeon, isn't it? Or something. Someone told me about that. And that's a pretty fun mode, apparently. Okay. Ah, okay. So this... Oh, dear. Okay. So this particular expedition requires camping or involves camping and we are being given firewood and basically we have to make sure to have enough food for the meal phase or heroes will starve okay so we're going to be taking uh we're going to be taking 18 torches and we'll probably take like 20 food or something like that and we'll take two shovels and I think that is probably... Uh, no, no, you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to take another shovel just because I, I don't want to be without one and then just gain stress for no reason. So let's do it. All right, so here we go. And uh, yeah, I, we just all we need to do is explore 90% of our rooms. And I think that should be pretty easy. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so I think what we're going to do first is we're going to swing around here. We're going to go to the left, and then we're going to go all the way up to the north, and then we'll come all the way down again, if it's going well by that point. If it's not going well by that point, then we'll just change our direction and just go to the right and try to get to the end of the dungeon, I guess. All right, so they have, uh, yeah, they have surprised us, which is highly unlikely for them to do with our light level, but they were able to do it nevertheless. And these guys are both going to inflict a huge amount of stress damage on our guys, which is really bad. So I am going to try and eliminate the backline as fast as possible. And we'll see what we can do. Unfortunately, our Crusader can only use Holy Lance, which is actually not even bad. So let's do it. And it moves him forward. Wow, Holy Lance is such a crazy ability. What? That's that's, that's insane. Okay, well, fantastic. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. And you know what I'm actually going to do with Bob? We're just going to move, move Bob back a little bit. And then we can do Nervous Stab, or we can do Festering Vapors. That is a Blight attack on all of them no just on one of them ah oh, okay i actually thought you could do it on all of them i think you can you can do it on all of them because it's basically available for for everyone you know so every target is available but it's not going to hit everyone okay got to get used to all of the ui displays and things like that so we'll see how it goes otherwise i think i can probably eliminate this or try to reduce its accuracy at the very least. Okay, can I reach? No, can't reach there. I guess we'll just do some... Oh, miss? Are you serious? Okay. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Let's just kill... Ah. Don't think I selected that, but okay. I don't really mind. We have healers and things, so it's not a big deal. Dodge! Ah, uh, yes, of course. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Okay, so the Arbalest... Okay, so apparently the Arbalest cannot, with blind fire, penetrate enemies to go past, basically. So to get to the back line. That seems to be the way it's working for me, at least. Nice. Okay, well, we, we won, and we didn't take that much damage, so I'm pretty happy with that. And we also have this. Move stone. Oh, okay. Is the move stone actually any good? By the way, you got to tell me. You got to tell me if there's any item that you see that I pick up that is super, super powerful or something, and I don't realize it. By all means, let me know. 
because otherwise I'm going to sell it or I'm going to do some some weird stuff with it, which is not going to be that good. So, yeah. Anyway, let's continue onward. I should probably swap these guys around and swap these around as well. There we go. Everyone is now ready. Okay, let's continue. Now, I unfortunately do not have a lot of space in my inventory right now. Right, okay. The pack has already been looted. Curious. Obsessed with the acquisition of knowledge. Right. Uh, also, th this guy seems to acquire a whole bunch of stress if idle. So in other words, if not doing anything. Okay, well that's interesting. Okay, so what do we have here? Human, madman, these are all humans, which is pretty good. I, you know, I kind of wish we had our jester now. The jester would have made things much, much easier. Ugh. Oh well, never mind. Okay. Guess we'll try and snipe. Yeah, four damage is not that much. Yeah, the madman is also a problem. But I'm going to just try and eliminate the acolyte for the moment. And then we will focus down the madman as well as fast as we can at the very least okay so flash powder debuffs them with accuracy okay so that's good we can also buff people now i'm gonna i'm gonna try and debuff the madman as much as we can wow this guy has 20 dodge which is pretty crazy okay so should i try an aoe that's that's 85 percent chance to hit yeah, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. I mean, I couldn't kill either one of them. Yeah, this guy is really doing a number on us right now. But we do have a lot of people back in town ready to take over if we are successful in this particular expedition. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to continue poisoning this guy because Blight does stack. really want to get him dead as soon as possible. I think that's it. Yep, there we go. That was actually pretty nice. Dismas got a really nice hit with his grape shot right there. And then we were able to do some pretty nice damage. All right, so... Ooh, rare antique we found. And we also got some more shovels. We don't have enough room in the inventory to take all. Make room or choose only what you can carry. Okay, so how do I make room? Do I just throw this out? Or you can just use it. Okay, I guess I'll just use the holy water then. Can I eat food? Ah, look at this. You can actually... Okay, I did not know this. You can actually eat food anytime you want. And it heals people. I am stupid... Yes, yes, you don't have to tell me. I know, I know, don't worry about it. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, I still don't have enough room for the rare antique, so I guess we will use the bandage. There we go. All right, okay, so let's move on. Inventory management. Who would have thought that, that was important in a game about inventories? Yes. Ugh. Okay, so, oh wow, this is this is kind of bad. Okay, we, so we've got a whole bunch of arbalists here. Gonna try and, I think, probably heal people. For the most part. And we're gonna just try and snipe or use grape shot. Uh, this is 70% chance. Snipe gives me 80% chance. How much damage does it do? 5 to 9. This is 3 to 5. I guess I will just try and snipe. And I will try to debuff the uh, the guy at the very back so that he is not going to be as effective. And then we will try and stun the Bone Defender. Yes, that actually worked. Fantastic. Okay, hopefully this guy's going to miss his... Are you serious? Did you see that? He's debuffed. I can't believe it. Okay, yeah, so that guy's debuffed, and he has minus 10 accuracy, but yet he was still able to uh, get us. That is kind of insane. Oh, well, never mind. Let's try and take out this guy. 
Okay, apparently not. Ooh, nice dodge, nice dodge. Okay, I think we might have our first death on our hands here. Yep, there you go. There's our first death. That is pretty bad. Okay, so I have, I have not had this before, so this is going to be kind of interesting. When a hero is reduced to zero HP, they're at death's door. While in this state, they will suffer stat penalties, plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death's door. Ah, okay, so you do actually have an opportunity to kind of fight back a little bit. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. So let's heal. Okay, so he's off, he's off death's door now. So having a healing ability is very important by the looks of things. Okay, so gonna use Blight on that guy, because hopefully Dismas will be able to eliminate the guy at 1%, or hopefully we'll be able to get him dead some other way. Let's stun the other fellow as well. Actually, Dismas might, might just want to do Grape Shot. If we can. Yes, Grape Shot, let's do it. Ah, oh, really? All miss? Uh, yeah, that was really not good. Okay, so this guy's at death's door once again. And we will hopefully be able to use Blight on this fellow so that we can finally get him dead. They're all trying to target him. They're all trying to target him down, but we're not going to let him do that. Thank you very much. We're just going to still keep healing him a little. And uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, I'm going to try and eliminate the uh, soldier. Alright, this is good. Now we're going to try and snipe. Do some more damage with the Blight. And it's only going to do two damage. Ooh, he's one HP. One HP away. And now Dismas is at death's door, which is really bad. But it's okay. It's okay. Because let's face it, if we can survive this, then every, everyone's going to be fine. Because they're all going to go into their various places, taverns, you know, uh, churches and so on and so forth, and try to heal themselves back up in terms of their stress. So that's all we need to do, you know? That's, that's pretty easy, you know? That's not too bad. <laughs> I'm playing this off very lightly. Can you tell? All right, I should be ready to eliminate this guy now. Uh, the, the other guy's going to die from the blight, so let's just try and focus on this guy. There we go. And we'll just heal... I don't even know who to heal, to be honest. I mean, Dismas is a bit higher level, so it would be a maybe a better idea to heal him. But I think we'll, we'll be fine. Okay, so we've got a minor antique and everything. And we are now okay again. So let's just heal ourselves a little bit. And we will move on. What is this? A suit of armor. An antique suit of armor. Okay, so is there anything here that I really want to place in the suit of armor a torch that item had no effect yeah i can imagine i can imagine it would have no effect and a shovel is probably not going to have any effect either and i want to keep the skeleton key just in just in case ah uh, you know maybe i should just do it and i do have a bunch of items here that could potentially be equipped so you know what i'm actually going to do that i'm actually going to equip uh, let's see. I guess Dismas. Dismas can equip the, uh, the shoes. Can, can he actually equip those right now? Yeah, there we go. And, uh, not entirely sure who to give the other thing to. Plus 15% move skill chance. I don't even know what that really means, to be honest, because there's the move skill. Oh, well, we're just making some space. Let's investigate. A boon at last. Ruins Tactician. Okay, so he got plus 15% damage in Ruins. Okay, it probably would have been better to have that on someone else. So, yeah, my bad. Oh, well. Okay, so we're not doing too badly, but we are doing kind of badly. So, I guess what we'll do is... Mm, I guess we'll go up and we'll just try our best. We will just try and see what happens. I am kind of worried, suffice to say, kind of worried. Uh, let's just drink a little bit, eat a little bit more food. There we go, just in case. Okay, hunger, of course. There we go, it's also going to heal us a little bit. And we also have firewood, bear that in mind. So we would be able to heal ourselves with that, potentially. 
Ah, confession booth. Okay, so I, of course, do not have the opportunity to really do anything here. I think I would need holy water or mm, one of the other items to make this work. But I guess I could, yeah. That's not going to work. Okay. The hero's history of sin is too much to bear. Great. I should not have put Dismas in there. That was not a good idea. Oh, well. Let's just try and see if we can survive. Oh, that was it? Oh, okay. I actually thought there might be a battle. Treasure ahead, I'd wager. I hope so. Pack has already been looted. Great. And there's a trap. Ah, hello. Undead. Okay, so they're going to attack us first by the looks of things. I'd like to use my... Ah, oh, yes. Oh, paranoid. Okay. Okay, this is this is this is bad. Uh not not too bad so far though. Not too bad. Okay. So technically I am going to of course try to kill the back line as fast as possible. And we will try to I think I'm just gonna try and kill these as, as soon as possible. So whenever the Crusader has an opportunity to use his multi target ability, that's all we're gonna do really, I think. If they can read my thoughts, then I will cease thinking. Oh, there we go. He got a kill. Nice. That is actually really cool. And we are going to probably just try and snipe the guy at the back. Ah, stress continues to build beyond the point of affliction. If a hero's stress bar fills a second time completely, their body will give out, get the maid, or retreat back to town before this happens. Alright. Yeah, we're also having... Uh, <laughs> someone else is also having some problems as well. So this is bad, suffice it to say. Uh, should we just kill this? Let's just kill that. That's nothing. I've done worse in an opium den. I'm sure you have... Okay, there we go. Let's do some more damage there. And maybe we're going to have to leave. We might very well have to leave, but we have killed them. That's pretty good. And we can now loot everything. Shall we use our firewood? Ah. Oh, unlocked. It's an unlocked one, so I don't even need to use the skeleton key. So I guess I will just open it. Nice. Good amount of cash right there, too. Okay, so shall we use our firewood? Maybe? Alright. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually camped, so this is going to be interesting. Camping, can, ca camping? No. Camping consists of two parts, meal phase and skill phase. During the meal phase, you choose how much they eat, which determines recovery. Make sure you have enough food. Skill phase allows you to spend rest points on different hero skills used for recuperation. Right, I only have nine food. So, uh... Okay, a f oh wow. Okay, so a feast is literally eight food. And that would reduce stress by a pretty significant amount. So I'm actually going to do that. Really? This guy literally, he took damage from the food? Are you serious? Okay, that's kind of weird. All right, well, otherwise, now we can use something. So encourage gives us min minus 15. Uh... Yeah, we're going to do Encourage on bows right here. Okay, did that actually help us? Not really. Not really. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I guess... I guess I, I don't really want to do anything else, to be honest. I guess we can. Okay. I, I guess I could do this as well and just heal this guy up. Okay, so let's just rest. Fantastic. Okay, so everyone's back, basically back to full HP, which is pretty good. But the stress level of bows is not really good. Let's face it. Okay, so I can now head backwards. I think we're going to continue onward because I would like to see exactly what happens. 
if we are able to explore most of the rooms. I will retreat if I am going to be in a particular situation where we are just not able to do anything more. But uh, I, I of, of course, want to try and prevent one of our guys from getting to uh, maximum stress. This guy's got 142. So <laughs> he's pretty close, let's say. Let's say that, you know. Anyway, let's maybe... Uh, let's do two more rooms. Two more rooms and then we'll leave. Okay, I think I'm going to get Bose to uh, loot some things. Actually, let's just get this guy to do that. Okay, we got another shovel here. That's fine. Alright, so yeah. I don't really want to risk it that much. So we're going to just do one more room. Maybe? <laughs> Should we do another one? For fun? Should we do another one after this for fun? I don't know. We'll see. There's a trap. Great. Didn't see that trap. Didn't do any damage, though. Uh, the sack is empty. Of course it is. What splendid craftsmanship. What pain. Ah, fantastic, yes. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay, so... Hmm... I... Don't know... <sighs> now here's the thing, if I continue onward, I'm going to probably have to feed them, and I am not going to be able to feed all of them, so this is going to be problematic. But I kind of want to explore more, because it is fun to do so. So I'm just going to do that. Box. It's a box. There we go, give me that. Thank you very much. That was it? Well, this seems pretty easy. And now, now I'm going to be attacked by something crazy, crazy powerful. What do you bet? What do you bet? I'm going to get killed now and all of my party is going to die. That would not be too nice. Ah, hunger. There we go. We've got to take some stress damage. All right. So I am actually probably going to, should we, should we abandon the quest now? He's now paranoid as well. Great. Yeah, alright, we're going to abandon the quest. But it's okay, because we actually do do have all of the treasure. We still keep all of the treasure and everything. We just don't complete the quest, so you don't get all of that gold and everything. Which, in my opinion, I think is okay, because everyone is kind of having some problems. As you can see, in town we'll never drink, but Hot to Trot gives him, in gives him crazy boosts on the first round of battle. Will not take part in prayer activity in town after certain traumatic events. Great. Okay. Well, so far, I think we're doing not too badly. I mean, the fact is, is that what we're going to do is we will be putting these guys into stress relief all over the place. And uh, Bob's going to go in there. Go in there. And then we will also place Dismas. Uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he can go in here now, so that's pretty good. Yeah, Reinhold only wants to do that other stuff, doesn't he? But everyone else is ready. Look at this. Sleeve is ready. Elio is ready. That's really, really good. Uh, yeah, this guy. He also needs to be put in here. There we go. Okay. So, that's it. <laughs> that's that's it. We're doing, we're doing okay. We're not doing amazingly, but we're doing all right. And uh, I think I can actually get some more people. Yes, I can. Look at that. So, I can actually get another Crusader. I can get another Jester. And I can get another Highwayman. So... Even if some of our people are uh, going to die, which is inevitable, I suppose, at some point, then I think we should be okay. We're, you know, we've got some others to take their place, I guess. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.